What is up guys, it's your boy Mirrorblade here, welcome back to another video. Today in this one we are going to be talking about Immortal, and we're going to be talking about the good rolls, the bad rolls, and let's take a quick, quick peek in the vault real quick. So basically, I have a lot of extra rolls, and pretty much what happened was, I ran out of space in my vault, so we're going to be deleting all of them. And you may be wondering, like, are these good rolls? I mean, they're not bad. These are all the rolls I had before I got the rangefinder target lock. But, you know, if I do end up dismantling something good, I'll just get another one when it comes back by the end of the season. Because, to be honest, I played too much when, I mean, you can literally see in my vault. I had over, let's see, 72 wins with after 7 cards just to try to get the Immortal. So I was trying really, really hard. And, you know what? It was worth it. This thing is pretty good, not gonna lie. But I got two rolls right here. We're going to be deleting the rest right now. So just close your eyes if you do not want to see this. Because it's not too not too pretty. But basically what was happening was. I was just running out of a lot of space in my vault. So I decided to finally dismantle these. But it'd be great to make a video on them. Because why not? So we're going to be keeping this one though. Which is Dynamic Sway and Target Lock. And the reason I'm keeping this one is because. I think dynamic is not a bad perk, but it's definitely just a backup one just in case. And it's only one one storage, so I'm just gonna keep it in the vault ever just in case I ever need to take it out and use it for whatever reason. But let's get on to dismantling the rest of these right here. So Immortal's been pretty good, not gonna lie. And you know, it's really plaguing the crucible a lot. Like a lot. Everyone is using it. Bungie hasn't said anything about nerfing it. But, you know, they're nerfing other stuff, which, like, I don't know, man. I don't know why they don't nerf this gun. But I'm just having fun with it right now. It's really, really, really fun. And I'm not sure, to be honest, how many rolls I had in here. But this took a very, very long time. And you may be wondering, Mirrorblade, why you, why did you just not dismantle this roll right here? Pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this roll as well, actually. So keep away target lock. And it's not a bad roll either. So I'm going to keep it probably for... Maybe PvE, depends. I'm not too sure yet, but I'm just gonna keep it just in case I ever need one. And this one's not too bad either, actually. Target lock, I mean, killing wind and rangefinder. I'll keep this roll as well, actually. So I'll keep these three, and I'll show you guys my other roll right here. So we have keep away hatchling, which I'm actually really excited to use this just in any other strand build that I might have because this is a strand gun. But the keep away hatchling is actually, they're both really good perks for PvE. So I'm just going to be using this thing, and you know what, we're going to see how this thing goes. But this is the one you guys have all been waiting for, which is the range finder target lock. And it has, it's not bad actually, I mean it has, of course, these two perks, but it has ricochets, fluted barrel, stability masterwork, which I wish would have been range. And then we have adept range, of course, and then field tested. So it's, it's a really good roll, probably would have taken range masterwork, but you know what, it really works out. But anyways, that's going to be for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.